This is a CBS News Pittsburgh special presentation. Hi, I'm John Delano, money and politics editor, KDK Television, CBS Pittsburgh. And our very special guest today is the Chief Deputy Attorney General Sarah Frosch, who is the head of the Bureau of Consumer Protection in the office of the Pennsylvania Attorney General. Sarah, did I get that right? You did. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. Let me first ask you, if I could, what exactly is the Bureau of Consumer Protection? We are a section within the Attorney General's office that focuses on educating consumers, um, helping resolve issues that consumers have with businesses. We have the ability to bring enforcement actions um, and bring suit to get restitution for consumers and stop bad business practices. And have you been doing that? Are there some yes. specific, can you give me some examples? Right, so um, some examples like our Navient case that we brought um, and had a great resolution. Um, we have landlord tenant cases that we bring. Let me ask you specifically about Ticketmaster owned by Live Nation, which was the subject, as you know very well, of a lot of criticism when fans tried to purchase tickets in Pittsburgh for a Taylor Swift concert. Your office uh, made it quite clear that if people had complaints, they should file them with your bureau. And tell me, what's, what's been the response to that? We received an overwhelming number of complaints. Uh, we received more than 2,600 complaints, which is about what we would get in a month. We got that within a few days. So that is a lot of complaints that we got um, as a result. And did those who filed those complaints, did they itemize the issue at hand? Uh, most of them did. Um, you know, most of the complaints were very specific about the allegations and the concerns. Some of the complaints were not specific to Taylor Swift, but more about um, experiences with Ticketmaster in general, and some having to do with other Ticketmaster um, tickets and sales. So what is it, what is it that the Attorney General's office does next, having received so many complaints about a particular company? What is it you do now? So generally speaking, um, our consumer protection agents will be assigned to any complaints that come in um, to our office. Generally speaking, we get about between 25,000 and 30,000 complaints in a year. Um, and once the agent gets the complaint, they review it, they reach out to the business, they try to get a response for the consumer and hopefully facilitate some sort of resolution between the consumer and the business. That is what our mediation program is set up to do. In addition to that, our agents are reviewing the complaints to see if there are any patterns or practices that may violate our consumer protection law in the state or other consumer protection laws uh, that apply to our office and will refer for an investigation. Do you, do you respond to the consumer? Do they receive some kind of notice? Do you talk to them in any way or do you just generally take these complaints and act on your own? Um, we don't discuss our investigations with the consumers, um, but if they were, if they file a complaint with us, we are communicating with them about the process of the mediation and the responses that we're getting from the businesses. I take it to get 2,600 complaints. That's pretty extraordinary. Will you engage in some expedited efforts to resolve this? Yes, we've already been in touch with um, Ticketmaster's Council to try and get some sort of response to the majority of the complaints that have to do with the Taylor Swift um, issue. And hopefully we can get that response within the next couple of weeks. And are there specific provisions of Pennsylvania law that might be applicable in this situation? 
I'm not asking you to render a judgment because that may not have been made yet, but what aspects of Pennsylvania law could be affected by something like this? So anytime there's trade and commerce and it could affect the people of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, there potentially could be a violation of the Pennsylvania unfair trade practices and consumer protection law. So we're always on the lookout to make sure that that law is being complied with, um, with any kind of representations made to consumers, um, any deceptive conduct, any fraudulent conduct, and any kind of confusion or misunderstanding by, by consumers or others that may be affected anytime there's some sort of trading commerce going on. Is there the right for the consumer to bring independent action on their own, or must they wait for the attorney general to act? Under the consumer protection law that we have in the state, there is a private right of action. So consumers would have the ability if they believe that they were harmed in that way to bring their own right of action. There are other causes of action that could play out for individuals as well. Has that happened? I know that there's been cases filed, I believe, in California under the California Consumer Protection Law, allegations that uh, Live Nation owner of Ticketmaster essentially engaged in an anti-competitive scheme by forcing fans to exclusively use Ticketmaster for pre-sale and sales prices, which were above competitive market price. That's part of the suit. Also alleging that their secondary ticket market, which essentially is the resale of concert tickets, was exclusive. So there's no other way to buy tickets except through. I don't know whether any of this violates Pennsylvania law. And I guess um, uh, the question is, could a consumer bring action on his or her own given this? Like I said, if, if a consumer believes that there, there was a violation of the consumer protection law or any other law um, that would affect their rights, they may have you know, the ability to bring action. I can't comment on individual rights, though. So. Okay, I understand. <laughs> um, I guess the question is really whether or not the uh, individuals would have an opportunity to act on their own or whether the attorney general might take action. And one of the thoughts that I had, because I know that Attorney General Shapiro has done this many times in the past, is he's worked with other attorneys general across the country in bringing actions against companies. Uh, I think Navient is one of them. Um, is there any possibility that that could happen? That I can't comment on, but there's always a possibility if we have states that have similar issues going on that there's collaboration. All right. I guess I, uh, I guess what you're saying is it's under consideration, perhaps. Again, I can't comment any further about any involvement with others, but generally speaking, if there's conduct that's occurring in other jurisdictions, we have the ability to work with others, and it's a good use of resources to do so. And then uh, finally, or next to finally, um, there are tickets that are going on sale here in Pittsburgh tomorrow for a, uh, a Morgan uh, Wallen concert. Um, very popular country singer is coming to Pittsburgh, I believe in the summer, and his tickets go on sale through Ticketmaster um, tomorrow. Would you... It, I don't know whether there are going to be any issues with this. I guess none of us can predict. Um, but if there are issues, I assume your office is prepared to take complaints about that or any other concert sold through Ticketmaster. Sure. I mean, we've we've gotten complaints about any number of things. It could be, you know, concerts. It could be, you know, sporting events, things like that. Anything involving tickets, of course, um, if people feel that they didn't get what they paid for or didn't get what they were promised. They can file complaints with us just the same way. And a final question to uh, uh, Chief Deputy Attorney General Sarah Frosch. You may have touched on this, but I want to just hone in. What's the timetable for action from the Attorney General on this Ticketmaster controversy? 
for the specific issue that people are complaining about, we've asked um, Ticketmaster to respond and hopefully we'll get that within the next couple of weeks. And then you need to decide what you do next. Um, that, uh, yes. <laughs> so it, it, in terms of getting the, the response to the complaints that we've received, you know, we're hoping to have that response within the next couple of weeks. In terms of bringing action or doing a full-on investigation, that I can't comment on further. Well, I'm presuming it takes some time. Um, does the fact that the attorney general is about to become governor of Pennsylvania, does that impact your timetable at all? It should not impact it at all, no. Well, let me once again thank uh, Chief Deputy Attorney General Sarah Frosch, the director of the Bureau of Consumer Protection, for taking time and speaking with us today. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you so much.